meet Milo Davenport. Milo was born with a curious case of spontaneous silly head syndrome. A rare disorder which makes the individual experience temporary transformations. Although Milo has managed to suppress his condition long enough to live a normal life, it has suddenly become unmanageable. Milo has come to see a specialist. Oh, hello there, Milo. Yes, please come in. My name is Dr. Waddle. Um, tell me, how has this been affecting your life? Um, well, look at me. It's, it's not ideal, is it? No, no, I can imagine not. No, um... Can you tell me anything that may have triggered this? Are you feeling alright? Depressed at all? Um, well, nothing I can think of. Um, well, Linda left me. I suppose there's that. Yeah, Linda left you, did she? Oh, that is sad. A broken heart can be quite dramatic. Yeah. Well, time ought to heal that broken heart for you. But your transformations, well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? I just don't know what to do about it, Doc. It's... I mean, it's really driving me mad. Um, I mean, is there anything you can suggest? Well, it's simple. Just find the items the transformations hate. Then you just confront them with it, don't you? Um, how? Well, why don't you look for stuff around the house? I'm sure you can find household objects to scare them off. Just use your head. Your silly little head. Um, alright then. Well, I'll try that then. Cheers then, Doc. Thank you. Bye. So, uh, how do you guys want to film this, then? Oh, you just relax, Marlo. Just act like we ain't here. If you want to talk about anything in particular, then just pick something and we'll start shooting, all right? Okay, great. Well, I'll just start looking for objects that my transformations hate, then. Ah, uh, my dad got me this book. Face Punch by uh, Frankie Face Punching Fletcher. Signed by the legend himself, yeah. could probably find a use for this. I'll uh, use these, you know, to um, set the mood for love. They haven't been lit in a while though. Um, even before she left though, Linda used to reject my candlelit advances. Uh, what can you do? I uh, find I'm often scratching at these when I'm in the cat form. I've tried using the garden fence, but Mr. Ruffleton just sprays me with his hose. It scares me half to death. I, I, well, I bloody hate it. I went for the old 85 incher, much to Linda's dismay. She used to say, oh, your eyes are go square sitting so close to that thing. He used to just think, oh, <laughs> I hope you leave me one day, Linda. I really do. <laughs> Smoking causes impotence. Uh, not sure how that will help, but let's see.
I suppose my, uh, my only real escape nowadays is, well, through this thing. I do uh, wonder about some games, though. They, uh, they seem to be getting sillier and sillier. Oh, Linda, she, uh, she hated movies. You still say that oh, there's more than enough drama in the real world. It was just ridiculous. I'd always have to wait for her to go to bed before I could like watch any of my movies. It's... Ah. Well, that's locked. I uh, I bought this karaoke player for for Linda's birthday. Uh, she never ended up using it though. Since she left, uh, well, I get. I get a fair bit of use out of it, actually. I find when I'm uh, practicing my gangster raps, it, um, it really helps me clear my mind. Uh, yeah, music, it's, it's very, very powerful stuff. Be careful here. Make sure I don't open the uh, fridge as the shark. Last week he scoffed an entire gammon joint. Get halfway through it and end up changing into the slug form and the bloody gammon is so salty it burns a hole in the back of me throat. Oh, it's bloody awful. Oh, <laughs> this is fun. Uh, Linda and I used to love leaving each other saucy little messages on here. Oh, here's one. Uh, Marlo, don't eat the chicken in the fridge. It's for dinner tomorrow. They used to be a little bit saucier than that, I can assure you. Um, actually, I think I wrote that one for myself. I, I did eat that chicken. This is one of uh, Linda's pieces. She was quite gifted. I'll probably just take it out back and we'll burn it with the rest of her stuff. She won't be coming back. I'll, uh, I'll sometimes change form in the night as well. I'll just wake up absolutely soaking if the ice head has started melting during the night. It's a bloody nightmare. Or if I've been dreaming of Linda, it can also happen. Oh, I'm just digging through rubbish now.